What's the logical flaw in a movie that still bugs you? Well any Christmas movie where Santa is involved. In these universes where the film is set. Santa exists right? So why the duck do none of the parents believe in him? When a bunch of presents and sheep turn up in their living room every Christmas Eve. And they know for a fact that it wasn't them. It's just a massive plot hole that Christmas movies always ignore. Edit. How the duck did that gold turn up under the tree when I don't believe in Santa? I want to know what kind of transmissions are in the fast and furious cars. 27 upshifts and still grabbing more gears. That stupid duck NG microwave weapon in Batman begins. Surely if it was powerful enough to vaporize the water system of an entire duck NG city it would just vaporize all of the city's inhabitants as well. Who will happen to be 65% water. Also. Apparently scarecrows fear chemicals were in the water supply for ages. And nobody noticed until the water was vaporized and they inhaled the steam. Good thing nobody took a duck NG shower or anything. The Da Vinci Code. Bad guy has gun pointed at good guys. Cut to a couple birds flying. Good guys escape. This is the most WTF moment I've ever seen. Nuclear power description in nearly every movie with nuclear power in it. People screaming the reactor is going critical. Okay. That just means it is starting up. We'll have to flood the coolant into the control room in order to cool down the core. What asshole designed that system? Containment is breached. It'll be hours before we can start up. Containment is the duck NG building that holds the reactor. If you've breached that thing. You don't have a plant. You've got a bunch of radioactive scrap. Ranted about it before and will rant about it again but Ariel, the little mermaid, is an idiot. Lots of Disney characters are dumb but she takes the cake. Never mind that she bargains her freedom and abandons her family to pursue an interspecies relationship with a fish eater she knows nothing about. Or that the person she makes the deal with is clearly evil as hell. No. It's her literary abilities that make her the dumbest princess. Ariel can write. She signs her name, and beautifully, for her deal with Ursula. As soon as Eric found her she could have written down everything in the sand. But nope. Better stick a fork in my hair instead. Stupid fish girl. Any scene in a bar. Characters order drinks and take one sip. Then leave. Why aren't you finishing your $7 drink? That's somehow a perfectly fitted exoskeletal suit built for a 6 feet 1 athletic male fits every goddamn person in the Iron Man movies. Colonel Rhodes? Check. Overweight President? UHH check. Tiny as pepper pots? Duck it why not? Edit. Geez I'm talking about portrait size everyone. I fully understand 6 feet 1 is not RDJ's actual height. Prometheus. How the two guys get lost in the spaceship when they have map of the entire place and one of them is an expert geologist. 99% of the time when someone is running away from a car. Or a boulder or something. They can just turn left or right and be out of harm's way. But no. They must run in a straight line and try to outrun it. Annoys the sheet out of me. People waking up with obvious makeup on a nice hair. My girlfriend looks that good when she wakes up she also has my username. Blink twice if you are okay. Guy walks into a bar. 20, 1 girl to guy ratio even at the sheetiest bars. Every cute girl is single and just waiting for the main character to stop being so shy and marry her. School of Rock. The whole time I was watching it I was just thinking about how all those kids were going to have to repeat the grade because of some dumbass who couldn't hold down a job. They become famous child musicians in the end. Who needs an education then? In Harry Potter, Mr. Weasley's job is to try and understand muggle inventions but he has very little understanding or even some of the most basic muggle technology. Hermione's parents, both muggles, know about the wizard world. Why doesn't the Ministry of Magic offer jobs to muggle parents with magical children to help the understand the sheep that idiot could not comprehend? Most of the zombie plagues we see in movies would last a matter of days at best. Zombies are basically humans. 
minus all the evolutionary advantages humans have over other animals. There are exceptions to this. But it's true with the classic shambling zombie. The Lion King. Simba and Nala are half-siblings. Ducking magic stealth helicopters. You know that scene where the heroes are standing next to a cliff and everything is fine until a helicopter suddenly appears from nowhere. Surprising our hero? It shouldn't happen. Helicopters are damned loud. But so many films trick us by hiding something from us the viewer and treating it as hidden from the characters. In the fiction of the film. They aren't hearing the dramatic music. They should be hearing deadly whirring helicopter blades. Rats don't constantly squeak. They only squeak when surprised or in pain. Dubbing cats meows when their mouths aren't even moving. The text on computer screen making computer Y sounds. Every. Single. Movie. In Back to the Future why weren't Marty's parents freaked out that their son grew up to look like the guy that helped get them together in 1955? In Gravity why the hell does she have to let go of the rope? What magical force is causing tension in the rope? They're not rotating at all so they're no angular momentum and they were both stationary in relation to each other so why the hell was there any force anywhere? Other than that. Fantastic film. Edit. My third highest comment. Didn't expect that one. I knew getting irrationally mad at movies would pay off one day. What about the debris having the same exact orbit as their ship? Oh. And it happens to also be on the orbit of the space station. I only know that doesn't make sense from KSP. Yeah why didn't Sandra Bullock just eva back into the atmosphere? If Bill Kerman can do it then why not her? Seriously though. When they pointed out the window and just went hey look it's the ice over there I was just like. What? No that's not how space works. Why does Ross. The largest friend. Not simply eat the other five? In movies good guy is surrounded by 6-10 bad guys. Those 6-10 bad guys are nice enough to attack him one at a time and wait their turn instead of trying the mob beatdown in which they all attack at once. The long as run way in Fast and Furious 6. Seriously. It goes on forever. Fast and Furious is not the place for logic. It's the world dreams are made of. Whenever you watch those movies. Do it in the mindset of a 10 year old playing with Hot Wheels. I promise you. You will enjoy them. The blatant physics duck rise 80% of what I love about those movies. The other 20% is a combination of Michelle Rodriguez. And the rock blasting people in the face out of nowhere. Sounds in space. Pacific Rim. They knew about the rift. Humans weren't just like whoa sometimes monster show up. They knew exactly where every monster comes from. So why did they scatter the Yeggers around the world to try to defend major cities instead of just parking the entire fleet right outside the rift where they can instantly overwhelm any new KG with sheer numbers? When doctors hit someone with paddles when they don't have a heartbeat. You do not do this under any circumstance. Chest compressions for someone without a heartbeat. Paddles for someone with an irregular heartbeat. Specifically The Purge. Was a movie where the premise is that after culling the population once a year. The economy becomes stronger and there is less crime. Because people all get to save it up for that one day. A. Not how economics works and. B. How do they think crime works? Just look at Medair. There are what? 14,000 a year in the US. Just about. In that movie. About a third of the characters die. If that were representative of what was happening all over the US. That's 100 million people that were healed in that day. That's unrealistic. So let's say one stroke 100 people die or one. One zero 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 people die. That's 1 million and 100,000 deaths respectively. So. How are we benefiting from this? That's like 10 dash 100 times as many medair as we normally get in a year? Also, we don't have an overcrowding problem in the US for the large part. 1. In Harry Potter how did Fred and George not notice Ron was sleeping with a guy named Peter Pettigrew every time they use the Marauder's map? 2. A human is not a battery. 
you will always get less energy out than you put in. Why 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 did the matrix not go with the original processor strategy? 3. Basically everything involving a hacker but that's a boring rant. Minority Report. Tom Cruise is a top cop. Framed for a murder he didn't commit. He's being hunted so he swaps his eyeballs to avoid retina scans. With me so far camera guy. So he gets caught anyway and thrown in prison. No biggie. Because his friends bust him out using his old eyeballs to open the locks on the prison. After all. He was the top cop and had all kinds of security access. That apparently wasn't taken away when he was being hunted. Captured and imprisoned. In Armageddon. Why not just train astronauts how to drill? I believe Ben Affleck asked Michael Bay this very question on the set and Michael Bay told him to go duck himself. During the premonition and final destination 3. The hydraulics on the roller coaster fails due to one of the main character's camera falling on the track. When everyone gets off the ride, including the person who had the camera, due to the premonition. There was no reason that the roller coaster should have messed up. Whenever an ugly girl or guy gets a makeover, edit, in the last month or week of the school year, and is suddenly attractive and everyone notices them and they all gossip about that person. That never happens. Girl in school has braces. Wears glasses. And has dark brown hair. They get the braces off. Get contacts. And dye their hair blonde senior year. Go from being a nobody to nobody still gives a crap. It's senior year. Nobody will care. People might notice. But they'll just think they're trying too hard and it's a little too late to change anyone's impression of them. Glasses or no glasses. Styled hair or no hair. They'd get asked to prom because people will as me they're going to put out now that they're trying to have a wild side before graduation. When they turn down everyone because of it. Including the geeky looking kids and go alone. Everyone might just as me they're a closet les or something else offensive to protect their own egos. Then everyone mocks them and they skip prom altogether. They aren't elected prom queen. They don't get the captain of the football team. It just doesn't happen. Not like in the movies. Edits for clarification. Tense. And tone.